The next biggest threat in Yu-Gi-Oh! Guys, I'm telling you right now, when this card comes out in the TCG, it's gonna be a problem. And you know, you guys are gonna see in a sec how crazy this card is. Right now in the OCG, this card is literally taking over the entire format. The sheer power that this card brings to the meta is absolutely ridiculous. And if you guys aren't prepared for this card, I don't know what to say. You guys are just probably gonna lose the tool. So this video is gonna be me showcasing one of the most powerful Yu-Gi-Oh monsters ever made. And I truly believe this monster is gonna be a huge threat to the meta game whenever this card comes out. Like I mentioned earlier, I don't know when this card is gonna come out. It's probably gonna come out sometime very soon, maybe in July in the Legendary Duelist set. Who knows, I have no idea. It is just my speculations, but this card right here is truly powerful. And it's gonna be using one of the most iconic two monsters in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh to make this card right here. So I'm actually very excited to showcase you guys this deck in action. Before I get started in this video, I just wanna let you guys know that I released a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh playmat. This right here is the brand new 250,000 subscriber special playmat. I am releasing this awesome playmat for reaching over 250 thousand subscribers i just want to thank you guys so much for helping me get there and to celebrate this milestone i'm releasing this awesome dragoon of red eyes playmat make sure you guys get it today in the link in the description box below at tx1.com this playmat right here is a 250,000 subscriber playmat special so once they're gone they're gone forever if you guys want to see more crazy videos you guys don't know what to do smash that thumbs up button will be absolutely amazing i want you guys to break your mouse this time no actually don't don't break your mouse i don't want to be responsible for you breaking your mouse just smash the thumbs up button all right guys don't waste any more time without further ado let's start with the next biggest yu gi -Oh threat ever all right guys let's do it Alright boys, recording in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I know you see somehow the one I do. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're back here on YGO Pro. I really hope you guys enjoy that intro. Because in today's video, we're going to talk about the next biggest Yu-Gi-Oh threat ever. This card right here, we have no idea on when it's going to be coming out. Paper Gang, smash thumbs up button. Paper Gang! Okay, look at this. We are undefeated with Paper Gang. No matter what the situation is, we're always gonna go Paper Gang. Like I mentioned earlier, we have no idea on when this card is gonna come out in the TCG. It's probably gonna get the exact same treatment as Chris Tron Needle Fiber. Let's see on what deck he's playing. So our hand right here is Corbane, Gamma Seal, Magical Meltdown, Ghost Ogre, and Draw Lockbird. This deck right here, all you need is two cards and you basically win the game. I believe that this card makes every bad player good. That's how I would classify this card, and it's gonna be one of the most non-skillful cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'll showcase you guys in a second how powerful this card is. Right now in the OCG, this card is taking over, especially with Maxi being the meta. The fact that you can make this card and back your hand up with Maxi. And the funny thing is, is that you can actually make this full combo within less than five summons. So the Biru isn't even a factor against this deck right here. So the Biru does absolutely nothing. So we're gonna go first and foremost, summon of course Corbin. Uh, we're gonna activate of course Magical Meltdown. The Invoked Engine with Trick Stars makes this deck absolutely insane. You make this unbreakable board effortlessly. So we're gonna add Alistair to our hand using Magical Meltdown. And now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna normal summon Alistair. If Alistair goes through, we end on the board with Anaconda, Dragoon, and also Makaba with these three cards in our hand, which is absolutely ridiculous. So we're gonna activate Alistair's effect. Absolutely insane. Okay, so, he, so he's an Ash or Alistair. That's completely fine. Doesn't matter if the Ash or Alistair right here. Uh, we still make Dragoon, which is really awesome. So using Alistair and Corbane right here, we're going to make, of course, Anaconda. All right, this card right here, absolutely ridiculous. Coming out in Dual Overload. Card is insane. Combining itself with Dragoon makes this card absolutely ridiculous. Uh, he's going to go Fantasmic, so that's two hand traps so far. And there's no point of drawing Lockbird to him now. So we're obviously going to go, of course, activate Anaconda. P2000 Light Points. Send Red Eyes Fusion to the Graveyard really awesome this card right here is ridiculous and ghost holger so that's 
three hand traps we're playing through right now. Gold Sword in the Anaconda, no problem. This just forces my Dragoon to be in the extra monster zone. Unless he has a Cyber Dragon to out this entire board, I don't see a way for him to actually out the Dragoon at all. This card right here is absolutely ridiculous. This card is the modern days Apocalypse 4 Towers. One of the most unfair cards ever created in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. If you guys do not know this card's effect, neither player can target or destroy this card with card effect. So the only way to destroy this card is by battle. During your main phase, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls. And if you do, inflict damage your opponent equals to that monster original attack. So he has, of course, the Phantasm on the field when activate Dragoon to destroy the Phantasmate. And this effect does not target, by the way. So Phantasmate can't even negate Dragoons, which is insane. So now we're going to end our turn. Uh, right now and the effect continues with you can use this effect a number of times per turn up to a number of normal monsters you use to fuse and summon this card okay so basically since you use two normal monsters to fuse and summon into dragoon using dark magician and also red eyes you basically get two pops in one turn while popping the monster your opponent will lose light points as well which is insane the last effect just puts the icing on the cake once per turn when a card or effect is activated quick effect you can discard one card to get the activation if you do destroy that card and if you do this card gains a thousand attack. So replacing against Solomon Greats, this card right here has three amazing good effects that makes this card basically indestructible. It's gonna be really hard to destroy this card by battle because like, yo, how are you gonna destroy this card by battle? Like with the fact that this card gains a thousand attack, whatever in the gates and also at the same time, it pops cards on the field. It's untargeted by card effects. The only way you can destroy it is by battle. You guys better be maining Kaijus when this card comes out in the TCG right here. So he's gonna go sign and mining, discard the Falco to the graveyard, that's completely fine. We're gonna activate Dragoon's effect to negate it. We can send Joel Lockbird to the graveyard to negate the sign and mining, which is really awesome. And Dragoon will now become 4,000 attack. Unless he has a Kaiju, he has no out. Wow, and he draws through the Sanctuary, which is okay. So he's gonna relink into, of course, Solomon Great Balinx. Uh, right here he has Falco and also Jaguar that's in his graveyard. And remember guys we did this thing through three hand traps Phantasmic, Ghost Ogre and also Ash Blossom and we still ended up on Apocalypse 4 Towers on the field which is absolutely amazing. So can you imagine if, if you were playing through zero hand traps we would end on Macabre, Dragoon and also Verte Anaconda also at the same time we basically have OTK the following turn with Alistair and also Perker Trio uh, which is absolutely insane right. So he's gonna go Falco, Bailing's Falco that's completely fine we can pop these cards which is really awesome. He's gonna make Hita. That's fine as well. I guess he wants to get a follow-up play, but that doesn't matter because once he popped the Hita, he's gonna be basically losing 1,850 damage. Okay, so like I, I don't understand how he's gonna be able to win. Like we win the duel now. I know what's in our hand. He has Jaguar in his hand. He has, of course, the Hita on the field. We drew into the Cosmic Cyclone. That's completely fine as well. At this point, we can go Dragoon effect. Okay, we can just pop the Hita. That's fine. Oh, what I could have done was I could actually, I should have Gamma Seal the Hita and then activate Dragoon, pop the Gamma Seal, he'll lose 2200 and then swing for game, which is actually would have been a lot more easier. But now at this point, he has Jaguar in his hand. We can actually activate Dragoon to even negate the Hita. And we would negate the activation, destroy it. Okay, well, since it wasn't destroyed on the field, it won't gain a thousand attack. So that was completely the useless. We just stopped him from getting Gazelle to his hand, which is really good. And I would just simply enter battle phase. Okay. Attack 4,000. Like he has 3,750. Dragoon's at 4,000. This is through three hand traps, by the way. And there's a lot of decks that we'd be able to out this card. The fact that you're able to make your unbreakable board and at the end and on Verte Anaconda to summon Dragoon, just to put the icing on the cakes, makes this card one of the biggest threats in today's metagame. This card right here will literally warp the entire format whenever it comes out. Who knows when this card is going to come out? I have no idea when this card is going to come out, but when it comes out, it's going to be a huge problem. It's probably going to get the exact same treatment as Christian Halley, Halley Fibrax. So it's never going to come out anytime soon. It might come out in July in that legendary duelist reprint, but who knows? This card right here, absolutely insane. If you guys want to help support the channel, make sure you guys get your Dragoon play mat today in the link in the description box below at TX1.com. I am super excited for this card to come out. And also at the same time, not very excited, but hey, this card right here is going to be able to be splashing everybody's deck. I truly believe that they're going to make this card a chase card in a Yu-Gi-Oh set. And also at the same time, this card promotes bad players to be good at Yu-Gi-Oh. 
You know what I mean? So it's really awesome. Not everybody is forced to play Red Eyes and Dark Magician in their main deck, which is actually a pretty cool splash and pretty cool addition into the, uh, into the main deck. Yes, there are additional bricks, but the rewards are just so high. And it doesn't matter if you draw Red Eyes or Dark Magician because Red Eyes Fusion can actually fuse on the hand as well. So it is essentially not really a brick if you're able to get access to Verti Anaconda, right? So yeah, guys, that's pretty much for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And this is your boy Sam from Team Sam Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace.